guys, it's Camille. Today we are doing a festival hair look and I did this color specifically for Governor's Ball. If you guys don't know what it is, it's like the New York version of Coachella, but not. But yeah, so since it's festival season, I know a lot of you guys are gonna be dyeing your hair. So let's get into how I did this. So the dye I'm using is the Garnier Color Sensation Permanent Color Cream in the shade Out of the Blue because a year ago I used this dye in pastel pink and purple and decided it was time to switch it up and go vibrant. Thanks to Garnier for partnering with me on this video. Now let's take a look inside the box. Step one is a 20 volume developer. Then there's the colorant cream, which is what you combine to make it blue. And step three is the after color conditioner that I really loved last time. Inside the instructions sheet is a precision brush to apply the color as well as the most satisfying part, the gloves that you get to peel off the back. Something you should always do is read the instructions whenever you're working with something that will be processing and just in case you miss something in this video to make sure it turns out nice and even and then you can send me pics on Twitter and I can tell you how nice it looks. So first I'm combining steps one and two. You can squeeze step two into step one's bottle for easy application, but I'm using a bowl because it's easier for me to spread on curly hair and to show you the color as it oxidizes so you can see what's happening better. So I'm mixing the two together, and if you use the bottle, you can just shake it. And in total, I used two boxes of dye because my hair is pretty long right now, but if your hair is about shoulder length or shorter, one box will be enough. Okay, now, wearing my iconic hair dye shirt, I'm taking my hair out of a bun, and I had it like this so I could stretch out the curls a bit and make sectioning and dyeing it easier. So I'm starting with extremely light hair because I've been rocking blonde for a while and it makes the dye look very vivid. I'm starting with the bottom third-ish of my hair and pulling out small sections to work on at a time. And you can see that the dye still looks white right now. I like to use the precision brush to paint all around my roots and get an even coverage. I thought it was so cool that my hair started turning a light teal while the bowl stuff was still white. And that's probably what the color is going to fade into, so I'm really excited to see how that turns out. And I'm using my hands to help spread out the dye and make sure that every strand is coated well. I always start at the roots to make sure that the entire section is painted over since it's easy to do with the brush. And then I finish by putting a bit of dye on my hands and smoothing it over everything and lightly squeezing to make sure that the saturation is even and that my hair texture doesn't stop me from getting it all. Now I'm taking the middle third-ish of my hair and repeating the same steps. And you can see that the bottom is already much darker and more vibrant than it looked when we just started because it's had time to develop. Also, the texture is cream, so it's not dripping all over the place. Now, surprise, I'm doing the top third of my hair the exact same way. <laughs> you can get this dye on Amazon, by the way, and I will link it in the description box for you. I work backwards because my hair at the top is more sensitive and porous, so it doesn't need as much processing time as the back of my hair. At the end, I like to gently make sure that everything's properly coated and use my watch to measure 25 minutes before rinsing out. Then I take my phone in the shower to film me rinsing out the dye, but it should be okay because I'm 99% sure it's waterproof. The most satisfying feeling is conditioning with the after color conditioner because it's exactly what my hair needed after this. And I think it's because it's rose infused, but it's so silky. Okay, so after I let it air dry, it turned out like this. I definitely judged some volume in there. And then I just put some little flower clips, which are just like, these little flowers I got on Amazon and then I hot glued it to bobby pins so it could just stay in my hair. But that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and check out all my social media linked in the description box down below. I wish you all a happy, healthy life and I will see you in the next video. Kisses!